Rumors are that allegedly there could be a big fight between Portia and Fallon. What's going on? I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified so you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kimfo, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly there could be a big fight between Portia and Fallon. What's going on? I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta, friend of the show, Fallon Pina, is promising a big altercation if her and Portia ever cross paths in real life. The source said in a recent interview, Fallon warned that things wouldn't be pretty between her and Portia if they ever cross paths. Allegedly, Fallon is upset with some sneaky things Portia may have done behind closed doors that fans aren't privy to. Portia's actions may have been very severe towards Fallon due to Fallon's 180 from not mentioning Portia's name. It's very clear, said the source, that Fallon wanted to send a clear message to Portia to back down or face her wrath. Many fans are speculating what could have brought on such a change in Fallon. Some think that Portia may be trying to link Fallon to her divorce from Simon. Others feel that Portia may have once again been sneak dissing Fallon on social media, or worse, saying things about Fallon's kids behind closed doors. No one knows for sure, said the source, but Fallon means business, and whatever Portia is doing, she needs to stop and soon. All right, Kim, folks. This is some information that came across my desk regarding uh, Fallon's pretty much warning to Portia that Portia needs to stop whatever it is that she is doing to uh, piss Fallon off. So with that being said, here's the first part of this rumor that I want to talk about. And it's this. I think it's evident that uh, Fallon must be um, very serious when she says these things about her and Portia not having a good run-in if they were across paths. Because in the past, Fallon has been somewhat of the peacemaker in this whole situation between her, Simon, and uh, Portia. And I say that because whenever Fallon has um, told her story, she's made a very good point to paint herself and take the control of the narrative and show people that she is actually the victim in all of this and not the villain. And she was very good at that. She was extremely good at taking back the narrative and using it to her advantage. So for her to take this one and turn this 180 and start to talk about Portia in a very negative or aggressive way, it goes to show that she must be very serious. And that's something that we can't take light because, you know, we have seen Fallon get kind of froggy on the Real Housewives of Atlanta with the, I think, the golf club and running through the house. And we also have seen Portia um, have knockdown, drag down, roll around fights on Real Housewives of Atlanta as well. So you, so you have two women who are somewhat or can be somewhat hotheads. And with this type of history that they have between the two, it seems as if they are ready to jump off and fight at any moment. I just really hope that Portia does take Fallon serious because there's always those quiet peacemaker ones that can pop off and pop off in a bad way if they're pushed to that limit. Now, Kimfo, the next part of this rumor, um, I think comes in no surprise to you or to us as to why Fallon may also be mad at Portia, and it's this. In my opinion, nine times out of 10, I think Portia may have been um, sneak dissing Fallon a lot on social media. Now, I don't follow pa Portia on social media, but I do know Portia does send a lot of subliminal texts and, and, and videos and comments and stuff statuses and they are also always very coded and they're always trying to send a message to whoever she's trying to target she also does this with the music that she plays in her videos or on her posts so i wouldn't be too surprised if fallon caught on to game and realized that in some of her in some of portia's posts she was probably talking about her and trying to do it in a very sneaky way 
Fallon caught on to it and pretty much is tired of doing it. And also, when it comes to these things, fans do play a big role. Uh, fans could also very well be hyping Fallon up and making her believe certain narratives about Portia that may not be actually true or factual. And that sometimes the things that Portia is saying on social media may not even be directed towards Fallon, but you know how the fans like to play things up like this and could uh, very well put, you know, social media bugs and comments into, Fall into Fallon Fallon's Facebook posts or in a comment section say, hey, I'm going to tag you to this. I think Portia may, Portia may be talking about you. So, you know, fans do play a big role in this whole, like, feud between Portia and uh, Fallon. But at the end of the day, I still feel like it has to do with something where Portia is posting on social media, sneak diss and Fallon. Or even it's to the point where she might be on Twitter or on IG liking very negative posts about Fallon. Still signaling it to her fans and then going back and unliking the uh the post. Who knows? But my money is on that reason. Now, Kim folk, the last part of this uh uh rumor about well, this whole altercation that could very well happen between Portia and Fallon if they um ever cross paths. And the last thing I want to talk about is the role that Simon plays in all of this, and it's this. Now I know we talked about fans putting things in Portia's ear, um, but I also feel like Simon could also be stirring the pot in this situation and probably is putting things in Portia's ear about Fallon that could very well not be true. And then it could not even be him directly saying things or putting things in, in Portia's ear about Fallon, but it could be very subtle jabs or very subtle comments or com in, in the middle of that conversations that may leave Portia feeling a certain type of way about Fallon and take it into social media. One thing we have to realize is that Simon is very sneaky, manipulative, and he is very calculating. He knows exactly what he is doing, and he does play a lot of mind games with women, especially women he feels like are at battle over him. So I wouldn't be too surprised uh, if we find out that uh, Simon is playing a very big role in this whole issue with Portia and um, uh, Fallon having a big falling out. Because Fallon seemed extremely upset about what Whatever it is that Portia is allegedly doing behind the scenes, whether it be on social media or or in, or in real life, something so bad that that Fallon is really is willing to put her hands or get very active with Portia if they ever cross paths. And I want to say this is a part where I feel like production really again dropped the ball. There is no way that Fallon should be creating her own spinoff show and not be on Bravo Real Housewives of Atlanta next season. The storylines are just there, but I think once again, we have a production company and a production team who is just lazy at their jobs. They are not willing to push for the storylines and the cast members who we know can make a big impact at these franchises. And Kimfo, that brings me to the question of this video. Do you think that um, if Portia and Fallon ever did cross paths, that Fallon would actually get physical with Portia? Or do you think it will be more so of a big argumentative uh, scene? And also, I want you to, I want, and also, I want to know: Do you think that production is really missing out on all of this drama between Fallon and Portia by not having Fallon on the show next season? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim, focus always. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over in the next one. Peace.